It's rare that I reach out to you through a video, but I felt that that's the best way to have this important conversation. I've always tried to be transparent and honest with students in my communications, consistent with the respect I have for you as exceptionally accomplished young adults. Now, this fall isn't a normal semester. You know the challenges we face, here and elsewhere, in trying to contain the spread of COVID-19. The sacrifices required of each of us can seem daunting or even unfair at times, but the stakes are too high not to step up and do the right thing. You've seen the recent headlines of schools that sought to open for in-person, on-campus education this fall, only to quickly reverse course when it became clear a material number of students were not complying with requirements and expectations around social distancing, mask wearing, and limits on the size of gatherings. Protection of public health drove these decisions as it must. Now, our ACC peers, UNC and NC State, have now gone online, joining many other schools across the country. We have not, hoping to offer as many of you as possible an on-grounds experience, even if different from a normal year. We know how much it means to you given the finite amount of time each of you has to be a student at UVA. We want you to be here, if your own health and safety permit, and experience your first year of college, or your fourth and final year, in fact, every year. But I need every one of you to do your part to make that happen. I read a really powerful message yesterday from the leadership of Vanderbilt to their students on this very subject, and this in particular stood out to me. One person's decision to shrug off their responsibility for a night of fun can be the reason an entire class misses its senior year or why a student for whom Vanderbilt is the safest home they know is forced to leave. Well, that same thing holds true for us at UVA. In a pandemic, one person's bad decision has a direct impact on the health and safety of others. That's why this is so important. Now, the university has made very clear what must occur for us to offer an on-grounds experience this fall. These things are non-negotiable and essential to keep everyone healthy and safe. They are as follows. One, there can be no gatherings in excess of 15 people, whether on-grounds or off, this fall. Again, no more than 15 people, period. You can still gather in smaller groups with close friends, and those are often the most meaningful interactions anyway. But know that we are very firm on this number. No more than 15, on grounds or off, inside or outside. Number two, you must wear a face covering or mask over the mouth and nose anytime you are out of your residence, including in common spaces within your residence hall or other shared spaces. Wear your masks on or off grounds. And finally, number three, you must maintain a distance of six feet at all times when in the company of others. This applies whether indoors or outdoors, whether you're in class or in a library, or simply walking across grounds or down the corner. Six feet is the minimum always. We must strictly enforce these directives if you are to have a chance at an on-grounds experience this fall. They have been in place for many days now and remain a firm expectation of all students going forward throughout the fall. Yet we've already begun to receive reports of some significant non-compliance. So here's another point where I need to be very clear and frank with each of you. Enforcement will include serious sanctions for non-compliance. You may have seen in the last 48 hours that several peer institutions have not hesitated to immediately suspend students who decided to place others at risk by gathering in large numbers. This includes our ACC peers Syracuse and Virginia Tech, who suspended 23 and 7 students, respectively, within the past few days. Purdue just suspended 36. I need you to understand that we will do the same. A suspension for violating these required public health norms will be immediate and for the full semester at a minimum, with no opportunity to continue your courses in person or online. Now, let me repeat this critical point. 
a suspension will be immediate and will bar you from further participation in any university courses, activities, or programs for the fall semester, at a minimum. This means your path to graduation will be delayed by the credits you won't earn this fall. These are serious consequences, but we are in a serious public health crisis. It's important to me that every student realizes the consequences of willful noncompliance. I don't want anyone surprised if we're forced to take this action. Again, I want no confusion on this critical point. I have great faith in you and in our ability to be a responsible community. I've seen remarkable things from students in my 14 years as your dean. You are why I love what I do and the school where I do it. But I also know it doesn't take many individuals behaving recklessly to place all of us at risk. If an individual or a group of individuals choose to ignore the requirements of small gatherings of 15 or less, mask wearing, and social distancing, we will take immediate disciplinary action, including referral to the University Judiciary Committee, and in the most serious cases, immediate suspension and a ban from university grounds. The stakes are simply too high for us to act otherwise. Student organizations, whether a CIO or a club sport, a fraternity or a sorority, they're also subject to serious sanctions for organized collective activity that violates these clear expectations and required norms. Now, these can include immediate termination of a group's organizational agreement and relationship with UVA and all of the rights that flow from that agreement. We won't be issuing a series of warnings or multiple strikes before we act. We need full compliance right out of the box, right now and going forward. Again, there is simply too much at stake for us not to take swift and firm action in response to clear violations. Let me close by saying that you have been dealt a difficult set of circumstances being in college during a pandemic of a scope unseen in over a century. I understand the sadness and frustration that this brings for each of you. But I also know that short-term sacrifice, like you're being asked to make this fall, by complying with three straightforward public health requirements of small gatherings of 15 or less, mask wearing, and social distancing, will get us past this crisis faster and with fewer people harmed by the virus. I share your desire to be on grounds this fall. I miss the energy you bring to this place. And like you, I want us to succeed. So let's step up and do this together. My sincere thanks to each of you for taking the time to listen to this brief message.